Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, this video is going to be mainly focused on a fashion file unboxing. I am so excited about this purchase. My boyfriend surprised me one day and you know I was I've been sending him stuff over the years of things I like from fashion file because I've been um, on that website for a long time like about a year and a half just looking at stuff and not thinking that I would you know be getting anything just for fun and sending him things and telling him kind of getting him into consignment and making him understand that like consignment is kind of like the best the, the better option for me I don't really care about um, like when things are like older models or if they're made models if they're made um what am I trying to say <laughs> I don't really care if things are from previous collections so for me if it looks nice I have and I prefer actually vintage items like I think vintage items have more history but into like thrift shopping when I was in high school um so I think that's where I'm headed after this but this purchase is very special to me because I've been watching YouTube for a very very long time and a lot of people you know have videos on your first luxury purchase what they suggest getting and this is one of those things that people do suggest um and because it's always like people are always waitlisted and it's very in demand i thought it would be a great investment as well because if i wanted to resell it i could do that and that would be fine with no problem um so yeah let's just get into the unboxing i hope you guys are excited i'm very excited it's my first luxury purchase so i hope you guys um enjoy this video so to start off the box came today i don't know if you guys knew that but it came today like i was sitting at my desk my, my um dining room table stalking the ups man waiting for him to come but this is the box um hopefully my address is not on there but it came like this i already opened it because my boyfriend was like i mean i want to see what all of this fuss is about he doesn't understand luxury he just doesn't get it he's like whatever um so this is the box that came in it has the fashion file inside which i think is nicer than just a regular like cardboard box you can get anywhere it's more personalized comes with this little envelope on top it's a fashion file fashion file envelope and in here it has your receipt just tells you how much it costs um i'm not sure if it has the retail on here so i'll see let me just give me one second to check this yeah so it tells you if it was discounted or not so it was on discount um it's, it was a pretty good penny over retail price mainly because it's always sold out but if i resold it i could resell it for the same price you know um then it has here just cash for your bag if you would want to go ahead and resell your bag it has that card on it where to go it has the um link of where to go if you want to resell your bag and it just has the fashion file tag kind of um oh it tells you where they uh, are located so beverly hills san francisco san diego new york i didn't even know that i thought it was only in california so that's cool is that a sticker no it's not a sticker that would be cute to have like, a little sticker anyways um moving on the bag actually came in this fashion file here we go i'm excited this is kind of no wrecking no it's not i already saw this on extra anyways here it is guys are you excited i am um so yes it is louis vuitton obviously you know what it is from the title so i'm being extra right now but i'm gonna unbox it and show you guys how it came and this is great if you're looking to buying something new from fashion file like something that's brand new and excellent condition that has never been used before this will kind of give you like a gist of how it comes packaged and things like that it didn't come with a bow unfortunately i wish it would have came with the blue bow that it came with with the package um, and yes, I do already have like a little mark there because I had I have coconut oil on my hands, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so it comes with the box and then it comes with the dust bag as well. Inside. I love that it comes with the dust bag. It just makes it more of a package deal than if it would just come with the box by itself and you just put it in the box and putting the bag in the box. It's just not as lux luxurious. So yeah, there we go. I'm gonna take it out of the package. I like that it's so mini, it's so cute. My boyfriend was like, what is this? Is this supposed to be a purse? It's so small. You know, accessory. But here you go, it has the Louis Vuitton um, dust bag. And then you open it up and then... Ooh. It's the mini pochette, mini pochette. This one is made in France, as you guys can see. Put it right up there yep it's made in france 
Um, I know people prefer it to be made in France or Europe compared to American. Um, <laughs> I just think that like America is not known for like our quality when it comes to like products and stuff. I don't know. I just that's what I believe. Like I know Europe is like European products are more luxurious and made with better materials and people like handcraft it and all these things. So I know that people prefer things to be made in Europe. But this was made in France and I am obsessed with it. Like I already tried so many things in it. So today I'm gonna to show you like what fits inside of it and all that because I think it's perfect. Like people, um, I know some people are complaining because it's small and it can't fit a lot of phones, but it fits my phone. Um, and to me this is like a night bag. So it's like for dinner or going to the club. I would wear it like this for dinner, like just on my wrist like this. And then for the club, I would, give me one second to show you how I would wear it for the club. I do go to the club sometimes, you know, when I'm young. I do go to the club sometimes, you know, when I'm young. So you can just unhook it from this side and then hook it onto the side that the hook is naturally at and wear it as a wristlet. And that's really cute for the club. One, because you will not lose it. It's on your arm at all times. Um, and it's just an easy, lightweight, like little accessory like it's a very 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 lightweight the chain isn't heavy at all like i thought it would be very very heavy but it's really not it's very lightweight so i really um like that about it and for me i prefer to wear it as a purse as opposed to a wristlet so if i'm not at the club and i'm just using this for my regular day-to-day -day errands or if i'm like shopping or whatever i would probably wear it like this it's just cute it's cute you know size comparison to my face i have a big dome so <laughs> it is pretty small I think but I prefer this over like the large I don't like very large purses that have like crazy monogram or crazy print like this because I kind of feel like it's overkill so in small accessories I think it fits perfectly it's perfectly fine on this and I think it looks absolutely gorgeous like it's just a nice pop as well and it's a neutral pop so I prefer that um now I'm going to show you what fits inside um because a lot could fit inside of this surprisingly like i did not think it was gonna fit my phone and all the accessories and stuff that it fits so give me a second to come back and i'll show you what fits inside okay so now we're gonna get into what fits inside um surprisingly this fits a lot inside most people think it won't fit a phone but i got my phone to fit in here i have the iphone xr so the 10r um if you have the max i doubt it'll fit in here it's just a huge phone um but for me i have to take my case off my phone just because it won't fit with a case on because it's too bulky but inside there's these two little slits I'm not sure if you can see that these two little slits on the ends that fit my phone perfectly like actually it's kind of like a holder for my phone and my phone stays in place in those slits getting it in there kind of takes a little bit of wiggle room but once you get it in there it fit perfectly so let me try to see if I can fit it in there without issue this time so and you don't want to pull too hard on this, obviously, because you don't want to rip the fabric or anything like that. But I have to maneuver it in there. But once it's in there, it does fit. So it has to be the correct angle to get it in. There you go. Fits right in between those slits on either side of the purse. Okay. And then after that, I can fit my lip gloss. This one's really thick and bulky. But if you have a thinner lip gloss, that would fit too. It fits my chapstick it fits a couple cards so this is for a night out obviously it fits a couple cards it fits my airpods um and then it fits an extra hair tie if you wanted you close that up and it fits absolutely perfectly absolutely perfectly in there as you can see the iphone is giving it kind of like a shape um and that i like the shape actually it's feels very heavy with the per with the um, phone in there so I wouldn't keep it in there you know constantly for 12 couple hours you know but if you're going out for a night out that's like four or five hours I think that would be fine um and yeah I really 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 think it fits a good amount of things um for my everyday I carry my phone a couple cards my chapstick my lip gloss and my airpods and that is literally my everyday and everyday in my everyday purse so I think this fits everything you actually would need for the day for me um, so yeah, um, that's what fits inside of it. I am. Okay, so that's better. So yeah, that's the um, unboxing and the demo of what fits inside. They mean a pochette. I really, really, really think I made, sorry, I was un <laughs> untying it. I think I made a great decision with this bag. It's so 
freaking cute. Look at this. I mean, even with my outfit right now, it looks so nice with my earrings. Everything goes together and I love gold. So I knew this is like the perfect bag for me because it's neutral and it has a gold strap. So this is perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, I'll show you. And for my height, I am five foot six, seven. <laughs> I was gonna say seven. I was five foot seven after I had my daughter, I shrunk. So I'm five foot six and this is what it looks like on my wrist. It's very very cute very very cute like look at that perfect for a day out and you don't feel like carrying anything in your hand you just have this on your wrist it's nice it's cute it's small but it still makes like a statement because it is a luxury item um, and I think this would be in my collection forever forever like it's so nice so yeah that is the review of the mini pochette from fashion file hope you guys enjoyed this video um i'm very excited to start this channel um i really am into consignment thrifting i anyone knows me i'm very cheap so i try to find the cheapest options for everything so i think consignment is the best way to go and hence why i wanted to make this um one of my videos i think it's great that they have such <laughs> i looked into the real real fashion file I think Vestair Collective and out of all those companies I think Fashion File has the best assortment of products. Um, I like their usability of their website. It's very straightforward. It's very um, like a dummy. It's like dummy proof. Like it's very easy to maneuver and their layaway um, option is very easy to maneuver and very easy to figure out. Um, I just like everything about Fashion File and I feel like they're, they're, they take care of their things and they're, they're a very trustworthy company so I know like if I'm buying from them that I'm making a good decision. So um, yeah, um, I'm excited to have this as part of my collection, as my first piece of my collection and hopefully a couple years from now I can pass this down to my daughter because this would be so cute for like a teenager. You know when she gets a teenager and she's driving around her car with her little mini pochette, I thought I think that would be really cute. Oh, I didn't even notice that it has LV on the right there. That's really nice. It's a really nice touch. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will be making more videos, not on um, luxury because I'm not going to be buying luxury often. I'm not one of those people that like to overspend on things. Like I like to get one thing, cherish it for a, lo a long time, and then buy something else. So I, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, and I'll be making more videos soon. So just don't forget to comment and subscribe below. Thank you. Bye.